Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you, of course, all the new and seasonal items that came in for the week, but I'm also trying to incorporate a couple new, well not new, but new to us items that I haven't shown in a long time or things that I have rarely, if ever, picked up at all. I feel like that went over really well last week where I just kind of like trickled a couple items that I don't typically buy but have been around Trader Joe's for a long time. I got great feedback from you guys that were like, thanks for the reminder, I totally forgot that these things even existed or I had no idea. So I'm gonna try to do that um, a little bit more now just to change it up, give you guys a little bit of, you know, a splash of newness for me and for you hopefully and then it also makes it fun for the taste test because we can try some of these items that I haven't picked up or don't traditionally buy in my weekly haul so I hope that is helpful for you guys as well because then it just gives us a little bit more variety and variety is a spice of life right <laughs> so having said that if you could just give this video a thumbs up so I know you like these ideas and um, of course it keeps my videos uh, going. Thank you so much for doing that. And then subscribe if you're um, not subscribed yet. So let's get into this week's Trader Joe's haul. Should I start with the good news or bad news first? Good news, bad news, good news, bad news. Okay, bad news first it is. So, the Perfect Bars, the ones that I love, pretty much the only protein bar I love, are being discontinued at Trader Joe's. And these happen to be the last package of bars that came into our store. So I had to grab a couple just in, you know, memory of the Perfect Bars that were once sold at Trader Joe's. Very unfortunate because this price point is really hard to find, $1.89 for these. And the only ones that were left at my store were the chocolate chip cookie dough. But if you see them at your Trader Joe's and you're used to buying them there because they're less expensive than anywhere else, go ahead and pick up as many as you can before they're gone out of your store. So that's the bad news. The good news is, is there's a gluten-free cheese ravioli. Finally, finally, there's a gluten-free option for everybody. I've been asked this for a couple years now and now I can finally direct customers to the gluten-free cheese ravioli. So this one has a blend of five cheeses and rice cauliflower and corn-based pasta dough. Now, for the vegans that are like, wait a second, hold on, I've been wanting a vegan version of ravioli. Well, your wish has come true as well. There is a vegan ravioli also at Trader Joe's. However, clearly has not come to my store yet. So it is on the order guide. It's continuing to let us order it, but it's just not being delivered. So hopefully any day now we'll see that vegan one. But in the meantime, we're gonna try this cheese ravioli in the taste test. Um, and hopefully next week we'll have the vegan one to try. I'm hoping, I'm, you know, I'm pretty confident we will. So here's the serving size. Serving size two and a half per container. What? There's like five in here, you guys. Look at this. There's like hardly any in here. Okay, so this might be more like an appetizer. Um, actually, 520 calories isn't bad for an entire meal. But here's the um, nutrition facts for you. And then here is the ingredient list as well. So you can kind of take a sneak peek. Go ahead and pause the video or take a screenshot if you want to look closer on this. And this is uh, re really exciting and brand new. Just like from this morning. I sent Tim out to my store because they came in this morning. Um, and then I had to get the cheese tortellinis just because I am, I have a garden vegetable soup. I feel like I showed you guys maybe two, three hauls ago and I've been dying to just add some tortellinis to it because I've loved the idea of adding tortellinis to any type of soup. You can literally do it in any soup, but I thought the garden veggie would be good. So I got the cheese tortellini and I also got the spinach tortellini because I like the combo and I feel like adding both into a soup will definitely stretch it out. It'll be very hearty and um, delicious. So that's why I grabbed those two. Um, now to some of the veg I got. So I got some of the microgreens. Everybody always asks if Trader Joe's sells sprouts. Well, this is the closest you'll get to sprouts at Trader Joe's. It's the microgreens. They're delicious. They're great to add to sandwiches, wraps. I also randomly love these on top of a baked potato. So, you know, you can really, they're versatile. You can put them on anything and they're very light and so you don't even notice really. They're not like super crunchy or anything like that. Um, I also grabbed the veggie hash, the garden veg hash. This is a fairly new item, maybe within the last six months and I absolutely love this. I always forget to get it so 
Like I said, I'm revisiting some items that I haven't picked up in a very long time. The tortellinis, the microgreens, the garden veggie hash. Um, this is a great soup starter if you wanna make your own soup. You can obviously just saute this and have it on the side with a bed of rice. I like to add it sometimes even to my breakfast, like an omelet, really delicious. There's so many great veggies in here. There's cauliflower, zucchini, bell peppers, fire roasted corn, celery, and yellow onion, and it's all ready to go for you. Now to a summer seasonal that's back, the mango jicama slaw. This has a lime mango vinaigrette. This is a very popular summer item because it is so fresh. This is like one of the most fresh salads and it looks like not very much, but trust me, when you dump this out, a, it's gin, ginormous, <laughs> gigantic. That's what Benson always says is ginormous. But this is great for tacos. So I actually got the jicama wraps, another thing that I don't really buy very often. These are fantastic. You can double these up so you can get a little bit thicker of a shell. These are great for like a gluten-free option. There's only three grams of carbs as well. So I thought it would be really nice to pair this with this. And then a lot of people like fish tacos with this mango jicama slaw. Obviously I don't eat fish, but I thought a really yummy tofu, which I purchased, I'm gonna show you guys in a second, would go really well with this. So I got that. It's really fresh, really fun for summer. And um, yeah, that's why I grabbed it. Now to something I haven't bought in probably five years. The English peas, they're ready to use. These are in the refrigerated section at Trader Joe's. And um, they're amazing. They're fresh peas, they're delicious. They're way better than the frozen ones in my opinion. And I mean, peas are delicious anyway. I like them so much and I love adding them to pasta. So I grabbed those just to remind you guys that they're there. And um, again, this is like a refresher course for me too. Now to the tofu that I purchased that I said would go well with this. This is the organic baked tofu and this actually is already pre-marinated in the teriyaki flavor. There's also a um, sriracha flavor as well that looks just like this but kind of like more red because of the sriracha. Um, but I like this because it's already pressed. You can see it's already pressed and it's ready to b basically chop. <laughs> Can I talk? It's ready to basically be chopped up and pan fried. So I think this would be a really good addition. And again, I don't think I've ever purchased this. Actually, I know I've never purchased this. I've never even tried this. So I can't wait to see how these little tacos are gonna turn out. And I know this teriyaki flavor isn't traditional to like tacos, but I really like adding, you know, like they say uh, the fusion style where you can add two different cultures and make it taste delicious. That's that's what I'm gonna bank on there. <laughs> um, also got some asparagus, uh, I love asparagus. Tim wanted me to pick this up, which we haven't gotten in a very long time. It's the Cajun style blackened chicken breast fettuccine Alfredo. Now this one is a very popular item. Actually all these like pre-made refrigerated meals that are ready to go are really popular amongst people that just need to have a meal to take to work or just want a quick dinner. Um, Tim loves this one. This is his favorite. He loves fettuccine Alfredo and it has chicken so it has a good amount of protein. I got some taco seasoning. This is like a staple that everyone should have in their house. Um, this one I like because it's super spicy so a little goes a long way. I just use, I usually like use this whole packet in five different meals because it stretches because of how spicy it is to us in our opinion. Maybe not to you, but to us in our family it is. Um, Tim wanted more gyro, so I got that. I got some kiwis. Benson loves kiwis and I haven't bought these in so long, so I feel like the season's now coming back, so they're feeling like really soft and good and hopefully they taste delicious. Now to something that I've never bought as well, the super amazing reusable kitchen cloth. So many people buy these. I go buy them all the time, like walk by them, but I never pick them up. But this time I decided I wanted to get them. These remind me of like sham wows. Do you guys remember those? Um, replaces paper towels, super absorbent, washable, durable, and they have a cute little Trader Joe's label stamped on here. So if you need some new towels, these are really affordable. And um, I don't know if they're good, but affordable affordability is what it's all about. I uh, got some more organic pasta, the vegetable radiatore and of course I'm just showing you there are Mother's Day cards are now available so if you needed a card for Mother's Day go get them now once they're like sold out they're done for the season because obviously after Mother's Day they don't really sell so get them as early as you can so you have the great selection that Trader Joe's offers um, 99 cents a card always so 
it's a great place to get your cards. Um, the Globe Artichokes are back. This is the four pack. I absolutely love artichokes and I like that these are like smaller because Benson, he'll eat an artichoke but he doesn't want too much. So this is perfect. Now Tim picked up some flowers when he ran out today. He got that gluten-free ravioli. He also grabbed some flowers. This is a protea. This is absolutely beautiful and giant. I don't, I feel like I haven't seen a protea this big in a long time. And then he got these really beautiful purple flowers to go with it. How about a thumbs up in the video for Tim picking some beautiful flowers and like doing it all on his own. I'm like super impressed because I usually get flowers myself since I'm there and I can choose my picks, but he did a great job and I'm, I feel like that was so nice, so thanks, Tim. Um, now it's just a couple frozen items. So I got the vegetable pad thai. This is an amazing pad thai. Uh, Tim and I and Benson actually went all to Thailand a few years back, and we had authentic uh, pad thai from Thailand, fresh made. It was phenomenal, to say the, the least. Um, but I, when we came back, I was like on a, a pad thai kick. So I, of course, tried this one from Trader Joe's. And this one is actually very, very good um, and reminded me a lot of the traditional freshly made. So I really like this pad thai and I forget about it, but I decided I'm going to get it again. Now, the chicken and cheese tamales are back. These are in a new package now. So if you've been looking for these and waiting for them to come back, they are officially back in the frozen section at Trader Joe's. I don't know if they're reformulated or not. I feel like we got a new supplier for these. Um, so it could be the exact same formulation or it could be slightly different, but they are here nevertheless. And if you've already tried them, let me know what you think about the formula, formula if it's the same or not. Now we're hitting the back wall. So I just got the Mason Barbalo Cab Syrah. This is like a go-to. I talk about this all the time, so I'm not gonna waste anyone else's time on this. We got two new beers that I wanted to try. These were in the like single beer shelf that Trader Joe's has. And this one really caught my eye because look at this. It's called a Stomped Shandy, and it's a collab with hot dog on a stick. Do you all remember hot dog on a stick? I sure do. Um, blended with hot dog on a stick lemonade. So it's only 4% alcohol, but I mean, is this gonna taste like lemonade? I'm excited. I wanna try this in the taste test, so Tim and I will try this one, as well as this one too. So this is a KSA light and crisp Kolsch style ale. I'm not sure what Kolsch is. I know I can Google it, I know I can, but I also know a lot of you already know what it is and you'll tell me in the comments. So I appreciate the um, conversations that we all get to have in the comments. So thank you for telling me what this is. It's a Fort Point Beer Co. beer. And I don't know, this reminds me of kind of like gas, get Great Gatsby or like the Industrial Revolution or something like that. But I liked it because it said light and crisp and summer is around the corner, so why not? Now, speaking of summer, two new sparkling water flavors have just hit the shelves at Trader Joe's. We got the lime and then we've got the raspberry lime. And yes, we will try these in the taste test and let you know how they are. Um, Y'all know I am a spindrift gal through and through because usually these have natural flavors. Yes, they do. Um, and I like real flavors. So this, these two are here. They're here. And speaking of something that's here, the watermelon sparkling is here. And so I definitely had to get two because Tim would never forgive me if I only got one. Um, these are flying off the shelves. I noticed them yesterday when I was at work and there were only like four boxes left on the shelf and every customer I was ringing up had like three or four in their cart. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go run back and save two for Tim. So that's exactly what I did. I grabbed two and I was like, I'm putting these to the side uh, because they were just flying. Everybody remembers it and they want it. So um, Tim's favorite drink is back, baby. Uh, the Shaved Parmesan Romano and Asiago Cheese Blend. So this is probably, I'll say, one of the most popular Parmesan cheeses that Trader Joe's sells. Um, I typically work in this section, so I see this stuff and I f fill it like three times a day because we sell so much of it. It's fantastic, and I like that it is like slivered. You can kind of tell. These go great on salads if you want like a slivered salad or even like, uh, an appetizer that you want it to look a little fancy. You can just sprinkle a little on top of whatever app you make. Um, but yeah, this is a popular one and one I don't really show. 
Now, I had to get some dates. These are the Organic Dried and Pitted Deglet Noir dates. These are fairly new, and I remember last time I bought this bag, Benson and I finished these in like two days because I love dates. I don't I know they like make smoothies sweet and everything But I can just literally eat them straight out of the bag like they're candy because they taste like candy um, Delicious, so I grabbed a bag of these now to a brand new product the ube pretzels I've been seeing these floating around and they're actually purple just like on the package We're gonna try these in the taste test. They're teeny tiny pretzels covered in ube yogurt and here is the nutrition facts on the back so you can get an idea of what you're getting yourself into when you buy this bag. And then here is the ingredient list as well. So there you go. I'm excited to try these. I like ube flavor so I'm very looking forward to trying these pretzels. And then two items that I very rarely buy are these... Um, I think I've only bought them once before when they came out new, actually. Um, we got the banana and almond butter protein smoothie and then the vanilla almond spice chai smoothie. I remember both of these tasting very chalky to me, but what I do like is this one is vegan. It's non-dairy. And this one is non-dairy as well. Why doesn't it say vegan on there? How weird. Um, shake well before use. And then let's... I just wanted to see... How much protein is in this? So 14 grams of protein in this one, which it says on the front, because I can read. And then this one has how many proteins in this one? This one has 15 grams of protein. So if you're looking for some dairy-free protein alternatives, these two are offered ready to go straight off the shelf. These are refrigerated, um, and you can get them at Trader Joe's. Now to kombucha i am finally getting kombucha again and the guava goddess is back and that's what inspired me let's get real this is one of my favorites i talk about it every year the guava goddess is amazing and it's seasonal at trader joe's so if you see it at your store now go ahead and try it because it's only around during the summer and then another one of our summer fave kombuchas is strawberry lemonade this one's around all year but I typically like to drink it closer to summer because it is very refreshing and it tastes a lot like lemonade. So um, both of these are amazing. And then the last thing I grabbed was the organic red wine vinegar. This is a brand new product just came in. They're replacing the other red wine vinegar that Trader Joe's used to carry and now it is back. So if you've been waiting for the red wine, it's back and it's new. I think the other one wasn't organic, so they made it organic. All right, that's it. This is the haul for y'all. Um, I meant to make that rhyme. And I hope to see you in the taste test this week. I think it'll be really fun and I can't wait to try those beers. All right, so what did you guys think about some of those items that I don't typically share that um, maybe you buy every, every week? I don't know. So this is what's fun about it is I love interacting with you guys at um, after the videos in the comments section and listening to you all have your feedback and let me know what you guys enjoyed, what you tend to buy, and I find your comments so helpful. So thank you always for participating in that aspect of my YouTube channel. It's, um, that's what I love the most is the interaction that I have with you guys. Uh, the information I love to give to you to be helpful, but really it's all about, you know, having that relationship with you all. So thank you for taking the time out of your day to not only watch my video, but to give the video a thumbs up and to comment that all it just, it makes the, um, this world YouTube world so much more fun and so much more beneficial for myself too. So thank you so much for doing that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button and just get it out of the way. And then you'll have Trader Joe's uh, knowledge every week. So I'll see you hopefully in the taste test tomorrow and that's gonna do it. See you in my next video, bye.